Today in this video we are going to learn how to check VFD with multimeter. In this video we have two VFD. First is defective VFD. We will check this VFD with multimeter and second one is OK VFD. Okay. First you can see here this is input terminal L1, L2 and L3 and you can see here this is input circuit of VFD which is rectification circuit. In rectification circuit we have total 6 diode L1 connect to here input power supply L2 here and L3 here it is input power supply you can see here and in output circuit we have total 6 IGBT you can see here 6 IGBT and here we get output U, V and W which connect to the motor it is output circuit you can see here U v and w and it is dc bus in dc bus we have capacitors which is connected for filter purpose okay this is dc bus plus n minus now learn how to check vfd okay so for checking vfd we need to set multimeter on diode range okay set diode range for now for checking vfd we apply diode checking concept okay how to check diode first see this is diode a node terminal so we connect a multimeter plus probe on A node you can see here and negative probe connect to DC plus point ok DC plus point and A node connect to the positive in this condition diode in forward direction in this condition we will get diode value ok if we change probe A node connect to the multimeter negative probe and DC plus connect to the multimeter positive plus in this condition diode in reverse direction in this condition no value should be show ok first we connect DC negative to multimeter positive plus ok DC negative connect to multimeter positive and negative connect to the L1 and we get value 433 L2 we get value 435 L3 we get value 432 ok same concept DC negative connect to multimeter positive ok DC negative connect to the multimeter positive same concept and check output output value u 367 375 and 368 all value should be in same manner ok now in reverse direction we connected dc negative to multimeter negative and check value or l1 l2 l3 with multimeter positive probe ok in this condition diode in reverse direction ok so overload value show in input and also in output circuit ok UAW also we get overload because in this condition diode and IGBT in reverse direction now second concept we connect a DC plus to multimeter negative probe and check value from positive probe L1 L2 and L3 we get diode value 435 436 ok and also we get UVW same concept by multimeter positive probe 374 and 375 ok now if we change multimeter probe DC plus connect to the multimeter positive and get value from negative of multimeter L1 L2 L3 overload UVW also should get in overload ok because diode in this condition reverse bias ok this is defective VFD. For checking VFD, we connect multimeter negative to DC bus positive terminal. Okay, DC bus positive, we connect multimeter negative. It is L1, L2, L3 and it is UVW. Okay, by connecting positive probe L1, L2, L3, we should get value because it is forward direction and you can see here UVW get value 482 and V 482 and W482 that means this drive output circuit is working properly but input circuit not working let's see one more time we connect multimeter negative to DC bus positive and get value from multimeter positive in this condition L1 L2 and L3 we should get value but it is not showing of diode value that means input circuit rectification circuit is not working so I hope you clear the concept of how to check VFD with multimeter. Friends, if you like this video, please press like button and if you have any query, please ask in comments box for today's enough. We'll meet next video. Thanks for watching.